my favorite Susquehanna memories were in the theater department. Uh, I was a theater minor. I had a public relations major, and um, I loved this campus, and I loved the people and the small, intimate classes. Um, Dr. Soat was one of my favorite professors um, for public relations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think one of the things that I loved the most was the opportunity to study in New York City. Uh, I got my own internship with Guiding Light, the soap opera. Um, oh, wow. And yes, and um, through networking and um, meeting with different people, I was able to arrange this uh, internship and Susquehanna gave me the college credit for my senior year to be able to work for the soap opera and um, the Great Lakes College Association, um, I guess, gave me the college credits to do that. So Susquehanna honored it, and that's how, yeah. So were you living in New York for a semester? Then? I was. I, my senior year, I worked for um, Guiding Light, and I lived in a brownstone with other college students through the Great Lakes College Association. Wow. So I spent five days a week on set and behind the scenes on the soap opera. And what were you doing for them? Everything. <laughs> I was a gopher, basically. Okay. You know, all the, uh, pick this up, do that, and um, yeah, so it was kind of like anything, any errands, I printed scripts. Uh, every week we had to maintain the, college, the scripts for um, the soap opera. I think just the ability to communicate with people and having an intimate relationship with um, class size and students, it made it better to be able to you were used to that interaction. Yes, yes. The theater background actually has kind of how I got the opportunity. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Deborah Jean Templin was our professor um, for theater that semester, and she had a friend who um, was a producer at Guiding Light. And she was coming to our college to talk about the marketing aspect of Procter and Gamble. Okay. And so um, she needed a ride from Harrisburg oh, wow. to Susquehanna. So I said, "Oh my gosh, I'll do anything, you know." Yeah. And uh, so I anything picked her up. Yes, I picked her up, and um, she was an incredible person. And um, we worked together. Uh, to piece this um, opportunity. Um, she gave me the opportunity to interview in New York, and that's how I got, basically got my internship. And then one day, we were getting mail at the, um, the college camp, mm -hmm. Degenstein, and there was a woman promoting Philadelphia internships. Okay. And she, I told her I wanted to be an actress, and she said, you don't want to go to Philly, you want to go to New York. So she told me about the Great Lakes College Association. And so just from sitting down and talking to that woman, that's how I got the opportunity and the, the idea to contact the Great Lakes College Association. So I did that. And then I had the internship um, interview at Guiding Light, and I got that. And then I came back to Susquehanna, and I said, would you support this? Can I get college credit and go through the Great Lakes College Association and work for Guiding Light? And they said yes. So my senior year, I was only here for second semester because I spent the time in New York. Wow. So. What was your transition like coming back to campus after being gone for a semester? I was so happy to be back, to have the fresh air, minus the ginkgos. Actually, they don't smell in the springtime as much as for the fall. <laughs> um, I was the happy being. the smell of the ginkgos. Yes, exactly. And just being in this environment, it's a campus is beautiful, and uh, I'm definitely more of a country girl than I am the city. So it was a good experience, but I was happy to be back. I love all the brick buildings and how um, impeccable things are kept here. Um, I love the windows in Cyber Hall. That was one of my favorite places to live. We lived on the very top and I had this window seat uh, and it just overlooked the whole campus. Uh, another thing that I liked about it was, you know, the service projects um, that you guys always, you know, try to get people to do. What kind of projects were you I was about? in Study Buddies. Okay. And uh, the neatest thing about that was they partnered me 
with a young, um, I think she was in seventh grade, uh, girl, and she had cystic fibrosis. And my best friend from my childhood had cystic fibrosis. One day I said to her, do you have cystic fibrosis? And she said yes. And I have chills because my best friend passed away, but um, I always wondered about her. And I remembered her name was Amanda, but I didn't remember where, um, like her last name. And then I went online and I found her and she's alive and she lives in Sealands Grove. And I, I actually, I did meet up with her. A few months ago, I did a um, event for cystic fibrosis and I raised money because I still do it in honor of my friend and Amanda. And two years ago, she had a double lung transplant and she survived it. And um, we got together, she came to my event and we hadn't seen each other in 20 years. That's incredible. Yeah, it was really awesome. Wow. So I wouldn't have had that opportunity if they didn't have those service programs, you know, to partners, college students with middle schoolers to help them with their homework and make a difference.